Hi, I'm Jasmine and this is a hundred Christmas present ideas for your friends and family. So I'm going to be talking really fast today because I've got lots of ideas and a short time to express them. So we've got to try to keep up. The prices are varied. So if you're planning to spend a lot of money or not a lot of money, I've got you covered. So let's get on to it. You can get claw clips. You can literally get them on Amazon. Like my friends got me them for my birthday and I just think they're really cute and I use them like every day. You can get an eyeshadow palette. You can get a sky lamp. You can get a projector. You can get like hankies. I'm getting that for my dad because he hankies handkerchief i don't know i'm gonna embroider his little initial into the corner of it just to make it that bit more personal you can get face masks because they're always a good gift i always say like they're kind of filler presents for me unless you're getting like an expensive one you can get exfoliating soaps and you can also try and get them stuff for their skincare routine if they explicitly ask for it or if it's like someone you're really close to, like your sister, you might know their skin types and know what they'd need. So make sure that they're not allergic to anything before you buy them it because that's just a waste. I'd say again, this was more in last year, but a quartz roller, like face rollers, I think they're really cute. If they have pets, one of my friends got me a present and also got my cat a present. And I thought that was the cutest thing ever because then I could like give my cat a present and I didn't have to pay for it. So that's a really great idea. That really just brought me a lot of joy when I got it. So I really like mugs and I think if you get a really cute mug, like my favourite one is this one. I actually got it for Christmas last year or travel coffee mugs because I bring a, tra a travel mug to school every single day with hot coffee and it just makes my day that much better. Keeping on theme, you could get a coffee maker if you're planning to spend a bit more. The Nespresso coffee makers are amazing. My family has one and I use it every day and if they already have one then you could get special pods. I have vanilla eclair ones which are actually really cool and exciting. Right now match is really popular so you could get a matcha kit with a little whisk or a coffee kit. In a coffee kit you can get milk throffers and you know the special syrups like vanilla syrup, caramel, hazelnut, they're always really fun to play about with. For my birthday one of my friends got me a Starbucks gift card and it actually was really helpful because when I went out with people then I didn't have to pay for coffee. I really love a really cute water bottle so you could get them like a Chili's flask bottle or you know those really cute ones that I saw on Amazon they were like a milk bottle. I also think that a hot water bottle is really helpful especially because Christmas is in winter it's cold you want something warm so you can either get the typical ones that you pour hot water in or you can get the microwave ones. Like I got this from the post office around the corner from me and it's really cute. I just put it in the microwave and it's nice and warm. Keeping on theme of warmth, <laughs> you can get really cute blankets like this one. I got in B&M for a fiver. You can get weighted blankets. They were really in last year, I think, but I think they'd still do now. You could also get a blanket hoodie. One of my friends has them and she literally lives in it. Again, on the theme of winter, my dressing gown is there. It's so warm and fluffy. You can also get the robes that you wear straight out of the shower or like a silk one. Pajama sets, like see matching pajama sets, especially for the gals. I've seen on TikTok that a lot of people have been using silk pillowcases because it's better for their hair. So maybe if you can find a color that would fit their room, you should get one of them. You could get glossy eye makeup because it's so cute looking and they also have hoodies, which you might want to check out if you're planning to spend that bit more on a Christmas present. But a lot of people really like fake freckles right now. So you could get them henna because then they can also draw on themselves. And there's this product from Glossier called Freck, which is really good apparently. I've never used it, but I've heard other people say it's good. You could get Lush bath bombs, but make sure they're not allergic to them. And also make sure that they take baths because I know a lot of people have an issue with it. So you don't want to get them one. You can get Lush lip scrubs. They're really fun to use and they taste really nice. I don't think you're supposed to taste them. Fake tattoos. You know, like when you were kids and you had like the water ones and then it would come off. Or there are semi-permanent tattoos now. If someone's planning to get tattoos and they're maybe still too young, that's maybe a good idea for them. If someone likes to do yoga, you could get them a yoga mat. So if they go to classes, then they don't need to keep using the ones that are in the gym. You could get them plants like cute little cacti. Oh, I need a floral there. Little cacti. And if you get them plants, you can get them cute plant pots or water misters. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but there's really cute ones in Urban that you could find. You can get a diffuser. I've seen a lot of my friends actually have them right now. You can get candles. So these can work for guys and girls, but I feel like there are definitely more masculine and feminine scents. For mums, I'd go more for like a Yankee candle. And then for teenagers, you know the decorative candles? They're quite cute. Or what I love is my crackling wick candle. I'll show you it. So to prove how much I love it, that is how much of my candle is left. And I don't know how it's got so 
so ashy up here and it basically crackles as it burns. This one's from Woodwick. If you know one of your friends is getting a laptop for Christmas, I know one of my best friends is getting a Mac for Christmas so I'm planning to get her a laptop stand. Also you can get a cover for a laptop and um, some are really cute. You can get them on eBay, Amazon, Etsy, wherever you want to find them basically. If one of your friends is really into reading, you can get them a book that you've read. I feel like that makes it a bit more personal. It's like I really enjoyed this book and I think that you would. Or you can get them a cute bookmark. Also Jack Edwards is an influencer and he has these planners which are so cute. So this is his planner. It was absolutely gorgeous. Brought it to school every day until my coffee was in my bag. It exploded and got coffee all over it so she doesn't work anymore but she used to be used a lot and definitely get like weekly planners, study planners, because we're coming into the new year. New year's resolutions are gonna be starting. You can get anxiety rings. I got one for my friend for her birthday. You can get pimple patches. I know one of my friends has got the, I'm not sure what brand it is, but you know the little yellow star ones? Apparently they really work. You can also get light up mirrors. So I know that the number seven one's really good. So this one, I actually have two of these. I have a rose gold one and a silver one because this one cracked. But it still like works, but it's just like, that's really bad luck, isn't it? If your mirror clap, cracks. You can get lash serum. I know like my lashes are quite good, but I just don't have anything, any makeup on right now. Otherwise you'd see them. <laughs> also phone cases. I know like on Depop, there's really good ones. And then obviously the more expensive ones on Caseify and Wildflower. But if you're going to buy a phone case, make sure that they're not getting a new phone for Christmas. So stuff for their room, as in like lamps, because really cute like mushroom lamps are so pretty. So just check to make sure it'll go with the aesthetic of the room. Otherwise, they mightn't put it up and they mightn't use it. You can get shoes, which are often more expensive, but you can go for the cheaper ones or the more expensive ones. So there's Air Forces, Converse, Jordans, boots. I've seen really good boots, actually, like, you know, white boots and black boots they're really in right now in pull and bear stradivarius and zara make sure you know their foot size for in the shower you can get really cute soaps my mum really loves molten brown soap things but they are quite pricey so i normally get them for her as presents you can get shower speakers so you can play music in the shower you can get shower lights you can get them a jewelry dish so i've got one and i use it like for my earrings and rings and it's a bit of a mess but i'll show you it now isn't this really cute I actually won this, you know, Instagram giveaways. I won it, so thank you to Cove Creations because I got that for free. I've seen a lot more people are wearing Uggs again and I think they're cute, but I think there was like a scandal about two years ago about them and like goats. So if you're gonna buy a pair of Uggs, make sure you look into that before you buy them. I'm not sure if they're vegan options, but just look into it, look at the backstory before you buy something. A lot of people are wearing leather jackets again, so you can maybe invest in one of them or like blazers, like monochrome green brown. I've seen them quite a lot. What I thought was a really good idea, you know, like small compact mirrors. So then they can bring a small compact mirror in their blazer to school. So you could get your friends like jewelry making kits with like clasps, thread or like wire maybe and beads. I've seen that some of my friends have been getting their kits back out and it's been really fun playing with them. You can get them slippers to wear around the house. My family all has slippers but they're really fluffy and soft and I think they're quite exciting as well as fluffy socks. I absolutely adore fluffy socks and now because of Covid in school when it's like a PE day you just come in in your kit and every time it's a PE day I always just wear fluffy socks into school. You can also get an anklet if you're not allowed to wear jewellery in your job maybe you could get away with an anklet i don't really know you can get tote bags you can get the fluffy tote bags or just the regular book bag ones i think they're really cute a lot of people in school are using them right now as school bags and you can get them on depop in zara in urban but they're quite expensive in urban for what you're getting also just typical you can get them a purse to put their stuff in last year this was popular and i think it still is this year but more like you know baguette bags or a croissant bag I feel like I'm just making this up now, but you know the ones that are like ribbed kind of? I think they're really cute and anybody would like one of them. People still do love a good bucket hat. You can get a beanie. I know in Belfast there's a shop called Born and Bread which has really cute ones. If you're looking for a beanie for somebody who's a bit more environmentally aware, in Northern Ireland there's a really great brand called Outside In. So for every beanie, every hoodie, every pair of socks you buy, they'll also gift one to a homeless person. I think it's a really meaningful gift and it's a really great brand to buy from.
you could get a pair of functioning sunglasses or a pair of cute sunglasses so you can definitely get the more high-end expensive ones but there also is like cheap ones that do the same job i got these from primark i think they're really fun and exciting <laughs> if you're looking for a more expensive gift the Dyson hair dryers and the Dyson air wrap are really great presents. My mum has the hair dryer and it has changed my life. It used to take me like 20, 25 minutes to dry my hair. Now it only takes me 10 minutes. It is a life changer. So if you're looking for a big gift, that is a perfect one from experience. <laughs> is it, I don't know how to pronounce it, babyless, babyless? don't know but you can get curling ones from there ghd straighteners i got that from my mom last year and she uses them every day so do i to be honest for their room if they still have not got led lights you can get them led lights i really like light up signs you know like the little cloud lights i really would like one of them you can get a disposable camera i think they're really fun you can get fairy lights you can get blue light glasses i actually have a pair i use them like all the time especially when i'm on my computer you can get chamberlain coffee i think it's really great if they like i'm a chamberlain also it's really sustainable and a good coffee brand i've heard not too sure on the details and basically any influencer merch if they really like I don't know, the side men come to mind, but I know there's like other influencers who have their own merchandise. You can get them merch from their shop. You can get them stationery. Like, I feel like a lot of people now already have them, but you know, like pastel highlighters. You can also get pencil cases, makeup bags, any sort of bags to store things. Within that, there's like pen holders. I got this for my birthday and it's like a little coffee cup that I just keep all my pens in. It's not a coffee cup, it's plastic but yeah also money boxes currently i've just got a jar you can get lots of clothes items if you know their size and if they're comfortable with you knowing their size so you can get sweater vests they're so in right now especially since it's wintery autumn right now you can get sweaters and crew necks see pull and bear right now they've got a lovely collection out right now so definitely check that out you can get zip up hoodies they're still really popular i think and definitely flares everybody's wearing flares right now i feel like emma chamberlain really brought them back and it is here to stay if they're into working out you can get a skipping rope there's definitely really cute ones that are like white or like clear i saw them online and they were really fun just a simple one if you're really stuck for ideas perfumes with perfume you can go as fancy or as cheap as you want really as in like body sprays Hollister body sprays, Stradivarius perfumes, really nice, and Zara. Jack Wills always does holiday sets, Ted Baker, lots of brands. And on the flip side of that, for your brothers, boyfriends, fathers, aftershave. So again, you can spend as much or as little as you like on that. Also check if they have one that they really like, and then you can get them a second one. So when it runs out, they'll have one to keep going with. I know that my brother's favorite aftershave is Million by I don't know who it's by, but it looks like a gold block. It's really cool looking. Board games are a really great present. I feel like kind of people forget about them because the gaming industry now is so big, but board games, family board games are really fun. A lip plumping gloss. So I got one from Cheshire Oaks when I was in Liverpool and it worked really well. It's kind of got a tingly sensation and I think it's really fun. So recently I, I saw Olivia Neal got a new checkered rug, but she got one on Etsy and it's so cute. So if they've got a new house or are redoing their room, maybe invest in a rug. For a more personal gift, you can make them a collage. So if you can see in the background, wait. In the background there, I've got three collages that I made and it's just got photos that I've ripped and put together so you can get photos of the two of you together or photos of things they like like tv shows their favorite colors there's really endless things you can do it just depends how creative you are again last year this was popular and I feel like some people still are getting them for Christmas but you know like fake vines to put in your room I never got them but I don't think they'd go in my room to be honest otherwise I probably would have. You can get an electric toothbrush. I know my sister got one for my parents three years ago and she uses it still. You can get them like treatments as in you can get them a spa day, you can get them a nail appointment, a hair appointment. One of my friends has got this, you know like Nando's the restaurant, they sell like the Harry Perry sauce, Perinese, Perry salt and she signed up for a subscription for them so you could get them the subscription you could get like international food so my mum right now is obsessed with Korean dramas I'm planning to get her some like nice kimchi and maybe some Korean candies if I can find some online you could get a blender if they're really active you could get like a Nutribullet and then they can make smoothies so I am always losing my charger so I honestly you know like the 10 foot long chargers 
or there's like charger head slash charger buddies. I'm not sure what the name of it is. My friend got me one of them, a little narwhal and it's so cute. I don't think anyone's ever gonna be mad at you for getting them a charger, so solid gift. If they have a record machine, you could get them their favorite album, as in like in Urban they sell the records, but I think they're a bit overpriced there and you can get them cheaper if you just look about online. If they're artistic, but they don't have much supplies, you could get them watercolors, watercolor paper, paint brushes, you can get them pencils, like good coloring pencils or like 2B pencils. You can get a sunset light. I actually bought one the other day, but it has not arrived yet and I'm not sure when it will. And I kind of just bought it. Okay. There was like a TikTok ad and I was that gal. I just was like, I'm going to just check this out. And I did buy it for 25 quid. So I'm praying that it comes because if it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest. But they're really cute. They make the whole your whole room look completely different, I think. You can get gym sets like sports bra, matching leggings, biker shorts. You can get nail polish. If you get a good top coat for them, then it'll make all their other polishes work even better. You could actually pay for them to get their ears pierced because that could be a fun day out for the both of you if you wanted to get yours pierced as well. And lastly, one of my favourite ideas is to get them one of these toy mood octopus octopi. <laughs> These are so cute. They're so popular right now. And I feel like they're kind of suitable for any age, to be honest. Like I am a 16 year old gal and I will still take one of these any day. But thank you for watching. I hope you got some inspiration. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment any more ideas you have, and I will try and reply. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye.